Hi everyone, Charles here from the Haiku Cyber Range. In this video, we'll be learning the basics about the Windows Network Firewall. In this video, we'll learn where you can configure this firewall on Windows, how you can turn the Windows Firewall on or off, and allow or block certain ports, protocols, or services on the Windows Firewall. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into Haiku Cyber Range for a quick demo. log into one of our Windows operating systems. Alright, so when you're here in your Windows operating systems, what you want to do is click on the Start button down here and type Firewall. You'll have two options. You'll have the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security and then the Windows Firewall itself. Let's click on the Windows Firewall. Now that we're in the Windows Firewall settings, you can see that the Windows Firewall is turned on for the domain, private, and or public networks. If you want to turn off the Windows Firewall, you can simply click on the Turn Windows Firewall On or Off button here. And then you have the ability to turn off Windows Firewall. It is not recommended, um, so do not leave it turned off for a long amount or long periods of it at a time, as it will leave your system open to all connections. So we'll go ahead and test this out by clicking OK. And then we see that the red X's are on the domain, the private networks, or the public networks as well. Again, it's not best practice to leave these uh, settings turned off for long periods of time. So it's best to turn them back on when you're uh, done with testing or when you completed your testing. The only reason why I'd turn it off is to troubleshoot uh, Windows firewall settings. Um, to see that if Windows Firewall is blocking any ports, protocols, or applications, I simply turn it off, test, uh, and if it's not, and if it's not blocking those uh, ports, protocols, or applications, I'll turn it back on. Um, but like I said again, do not leave them off for long periods of time. With that said, we'll go ahead and turn them back on to its original state. Actually, let's dive back in that one setting again. So when you're back to this setting here, when you're turning on and off your Windows firewall, you have the ability to notify when Windows blocks a new app or simply just block all incoming connections that are not listed on the trusted apps. Instead of completely turning off the firewall, you can just click on notify me when Windows firewall blocks a new app so that if an app or port or protocol gets blocked Windows will notify you uh, so that you can add or remove rules uh, for the application or the port to communicate. Now that we have the firewall turned on let's go do a quick example of adding or removing a firewall rule on the firewall. So we'll go ahead and click on advanced settings and then we can either create an inbound rule or outbound rule. So my thing is I'd like to check to see the out inbound rules first to see what traffic is allowed into my computer or into my system. You can click on any one of these firewall rules and it'll tell you the, uh, the ports that are allowed. And it'll also tell you what profile it's all the profile it'll say all if it's all it'll say domain if it's just for the domain private for private and uh, public for public um, but if you have it on for all it'll just uh, be open for all of them at the very top of the rule set you'll see the latest rule that you've created or someone created for you uh, to remove a rule you can right click Click Disable Rule or Delete Rule. Disable it or just turn off the rule where you'll see the green check mark is not checked anymore. Um, it'll be on there, but that rule would not be um, blocking or allowing that certain port and protocol. <clears throat> so if we double click on that rule that we just disabled, you can read um, the information for it. Here's a port description. The description says port 25 TCP inbound allow all. So it's basically allowing all inbound um, port 25 traffic in. 
click on scope you see for any IP address to any IP address and then click on advance it'll show you that it's for the domain profile private profile and the public profile so we basically just disabled the rule that allows port 25 TCP inbound now to delete this rule right click and click delete We'll ask you if you really want to delete the rule and we'll go ahead and press yes. Now adding it back is pretty simple. All you need to do is right click the inbound rules, click new rules, click on port, and then press next. And then it was port 25 TCP, so I'll make sure the TCP radio buttons connect are clicked. And click on specific local ports, which is port 25. <laughs> click next. And then we're going to allow the connection, or you can either block the connection or only allow the connection if it's secure. So we'll go ahead and allow the connection. It's so next. And we'll make sure all three of them are marked the domain profile, private profile and public profile click next and then we'll just name it back to allow 25 TCP inbound and then we'll do the same for the description allow port 20 feet 25 TCP inbound click next and then you'll see you've easily added that firewall rule on the inbound side. Well that's all for this basic tutorial on the Windows firewall. To read the latest about the Haiku Cyber Range or see features, tips, and tricks, visit us at haikurange.com.